Ah, the music brings you right back into the game. Love it. All the bells and different sounds. They're cheerful and strange at the same time. Mm. So, we were like almost through with the list. And, uh, alright, that was uh, the scene where those three seamen were working and carrying stuff around and the treasure chest so with um, this guy we have a 50 50 chance of getting the name right I think I've tried this out before but um, Let's see. Oh, we don't even know his fate? Why is that? Perished in part four. Oh, of course, because we just saw the other guy, I see. So it doesn't really help if we get the name right, even. Um. Because, let's be honest, I don't think his name is Hamadun Dion at that time. And that leaves us with this, these two. On the other hand, uh, one of those guys probably is Hamadun. Sion, Dion. Um, but that's like one in three chance. Hmm. Yeah. Drowned by beasts. Oh, disappeared. And I say he has been drowned by a beast. Spiked by a terrible beast. Shh. Unholy captives, part one. Uh. This is unholy captives, part one. Is this way? Yeah, that's where he dies. Yep, that's him. He has like an earring, right? Does that help us? What did I say exactly? Um, spiked, right? Spiked by a terrible beast. That should be right. I mean, I can test it out okay successfully I mean it was a, like a one in three chance ah oh, we got the final Russian and this guy is indeed the steward okay so we're getting closer to the end Hmm. I didn't want to guess the names, but I don't know. I think one in three, maybe it's a fair chance. Um, yeah, that was a bit lucky now. So that, but that also means um, we can basically guess the other two names 
That's also like 50 50 now. Crow. Okay, Hamadou Dion. Uh, you are a seaman. Let's make you Boos and let's make you Shirley. Uh, let's make you Boos. Let's make you Shirley. Nah, it's not that easy. Um, okay, let's go for unknown seamen again. So I've been thinking the bargain chapter to do kind of have to think, have to start thinking about what what's going to happen there because we we have to leave the ship, right? Can I go back after that? So let's see. Um. I assume well the remain on no yeah I kinda wanna read that too. Um part one, part two, part three, part four, part five. So that should mean that there are five deaths, right? Because each chapter always marks the death of someone. Um, but looking at the list so far, this guy could die because he's there, and this guy could die because he's there. But those are only two chapters, so what about the other three deaths, I assume? Well, the, so one is in the Lazarette, but that also could be... Hmm, usually it's at the same place, kinda? Or is it? I don't know. I was thinking maybe um, they uh, reference the disappearances a bit more? Like, um, well, not those guys actually. Um, the one from the escape, these guys, maybe they come back or something. And uh, I think we sh there should be a scene where the captain. Goes down there. He's involved there and and gets rid of of the shells. Or or he doesn't. We don't know. He just said it, and of the treasure. Um. Otherwise, the treasure. Let's uh, also sing. The treasure could still be on board, right? Um. Like in this time. And by the way, who are we? Like seriously, I mean, we ourselves. And who is this guy? I trust that you now find yourself aboard the Obra Din. I expected this day to come. And where is the Obra Din at the moment that we Looks like it's in the middle of the ocean. It's not uh, being like towed to a port or something. This this is a place where it has been found, right? Let's look at the map. The end. Are we here now? Or oh, somewhere nearby? What what is the timeline here? I mean, that guy came like with a. Where was he? Like with a very small boat, right? Who's that guy, by the way? Does he look familiar? 
Either there's another ship nearby or we're close to a coast. But it doesn't look like it to be honest. So maybe we should try to track um, the the root of, of the treasure, you know, where it went as far as we can tell. Won't be easy though. Like, we just saw that it got carried back in here, and then it gets carried down here, and people get smashed and struck in the face by the mermaids while they're carrying the treasure. And it used to be all the way down here, guarded uh, behind one of these things. Guarded by the formosian with the spear. Wait a minute, can we say where the passengers are? This one. On the other side. These two used to be here. One of those two. So, since we've been through the ship a lot, I think that it would have caught my eye unless it was like in a room that is. And it's it had to be a room like that is like either. Of, where it is either well hidden or the room itself is locked. Like this one, for example. Could be still down here. But again, um, we only got like two deaths, and we know that um, three people. In the final chapter, um, survive and are not down there. That would be those guys. They don't believe him that he has got rid of the treasure. Ah, uh, we don't know about. Well, at least one of them doesn't believe it. So we can assume this guy, I think. Yeah, I think he says. Where are they? Must be, yeah, must be in here someplace. What does the other guy say? Open the door. Take more than. Yeah, take more than those shelves. That's what they want. And they apparently didn't see what happened to those shelves. And he just makes a noise. And your brother, that blah blah blah. And here he says, uh, they're at, but he's hesitating. Hesitating. At the bottom of the sea. So maybe he's not completely off here. Why the hesitation there? Maybe it's just exhausted? Could be both, hard to tell. So, we're basically still looking for... Um, three... Uh, guys that are still alive here. And can die, can actually die. So, we have four passengers that escaped here. Could be three of them. Maybe they did come back. After all, we didn't really see them leave, right? So that's maybe another option. Maybe the captain didn't agree to let them go. Maybe the something else happened to the boat. Maybe they, like, drowned. Or... I don't know. Um, well, that's basically almost the only option. Unless we get introduced new characters. 
Um, and the disappearances from the Doom are basically all confirmed deaths, right? Dead, I mean. Confirm, confirm, dead, doubt. Okay, this guy is not confirmed yet, but we'll get to that in a minute. So yeah, the only ones who could have escaped, uh, survived are those what, those guys. So maybe three of those die, and two, uh, the the Swedish guy and, and the force mate or whatever it was. Um, yeah, but who are we? And who is Henry Evans? And where are we? Gotta tie up some loose ends here. Just that you now find yourself aboard. I mean, of course it's a game mechanic, so... With the, like, uh, pocket watch and everything, but... You could question the whole thing. What is it actually? Is it magic? Or is it just... Will it be explained? Won't it be explained? Hmm. What's happening there? Why do you have the power to travel back and, and experience experiences those memories? Are you like a ghost or something? Okay, let's read this again. I trust that you now find yourself aboard Maybe we'll, we are one of the passengers. We're like a ghost who cannot leave the ship. Let's see our hands again. That's the only thing we can see. Is that a uniform? We have gloves, I think, right? Look at the arm there. Kind of want to see how those uniforms look. Hmm. Yeah. Could be. Could be, right? Look at the arm here. But they don't wear gloves necessarily. Oh, wait a minute. What does the very first page show? 1807. Return. Did it return though? That would mean that we are in England at the moment. But he says something about Morocco. Maybe just returned from the open sea. I expected this day to come, and my every intention. Well, I trust that you now find yourself aboard Aberdeen. I expected this day to come, and my every intention was to tell the ship's strange tale within the pages of this book. Regrettably, <clears throat> failing health has allowed me to produce only the basic outline that follows. Your presence on the Obert Den is critical. I leave the discovery of its fate and the completion of this book in your hands. The new, the next few pages will seem bewildering at first. All will make sense in time. How would you know? Use the pocket watch to determine the identity and fate of everyone aboard. Complete each chapter accurately and return the book by guaranteed post to the French Office of Affairs in Morocco. So, Morocco is here, right? That's the uh, most western country in Northern Africa. Hmm. I mean, if the ship was here, and we're British, I don't know the political landscape in 1807. Maybe they have a feud with the Portuguese and the uh, Spanish, but on the other hand, there's Gibraltar, Gibraltar, uh, down here. So there should be a better connection than Morocco. I don't know. 
but maybe it's like a colony as well, so it doesn't really matter. Um, but it says French, so wouldn't G Gibraltar be the better choice? Well, return the book by guaranteed post to the French Office of Affairs in Morocco. That's an English name, though. The bargain chapter will remain unknown to you. I possess the details within, but have elected to keep them private for now. How come? How can that be? Maybe that guy has the treasure or something? How can he know more about that? Henry Evans. There was no Henry Evans on the sh ship, right? Or oh, some... Wait a minute. Holy hell, that's a surgeon. Wow, that's interesting. Okay. Okay, that, that uh, actually makes sense now. That the... Um, Uh, wait a minute, no. So they all die. Uh, the escape, that's what I need. So we have two deaths, the Swede and the officer, and then we have one, two, three other deaths, and that makes five chapters. Uh, I mean, five parts of, of the bargain chapter. And he's the sole survivor. So that makes his motives all the more important. We gotta really track all that he did. Everything that he did before we leave the ship. We didn't solve the question though who we are. Maybe it isn't important. Maybe it is. Huh. Is there something up there? Uh, just cargo, maybe one of these things, whatever those are. Yeah, I doubt that they they hit the they hide the treasure in here somewhere. Um, now I'm all <laughs> also getting starting to get greedy, looking for the treasure. Oh, oh boy, I'll perish. Just like them. Right. Um. Huh. So we could look for the two other guys and, um. That was uh, chapter. Unholy captives, right? Yeah, 44. Okay, he gets spiked, and that is confirmed now. And then we have two more with an English name. This is not confirmed yet. Huh. How many are there that are not confirmed? John Naples. I can still change those names. I should be right though. And he's the only steward. I think he should be right as well. But that cannot be, because these are three. One of them has to be wrong, right? Hmm. Or maybe I didn't like completely the complete the cause of death or something. John Naples. Hmm. In fact, we even have four things. Yeah. Unknown. He'll die in the bargain. He'll die in the bargain. Ship steward hmm, spiked. Okay. 
There's nothing open here. Fell stairs. Two. Hmm. Two that are completely open. No. But we don't even have the cause of death. Okay, well, uh, then let's take, take a look at the chapter again. Uh, to Naples. Oh, they're just present here. They don't die. They die at, at the Doom chapter or something. Oh, uh, well. Perished in the Doom part 4. Disappeared in the Doom. Not confirmed, right? Yeah. So. Okay. Um. But they're here, and we just saw the first scene where they were. They were present, and they lifted the treasure out of the boat. What happens here? The cook gets struck, and there. Let's see where that corpse is. Gun deck. Okay, let's check that out. Uh, so is that him? So we definitely have to look out for the surgeon as well. He's like, hmm, not sure I like what the captain says here. There's not much left in the boat. That's the surgeon. And Evans. What is he thinking? There's the treasure. Locked again, it was opened. And the man burned his hand. One of the Formosian dudes. Uh, yeah, well, so we got, we gotta do two more things after we figured out all, all the names. Like, uh, track the whole path of the doctor and the whole path of, uh, the treasure chest here. Well, that's not the guy. Is that him? Yeah. That's him. Um, they're handling the treasure chest. Okay, great. Anything else I need to know? Goat's still alive. Great. Okay, that was chapter two. Are they still present here? No, they're not. Then they're here again. Ah. Yeah, this death is still unclear. Maybe the name is wrong? 
John Naples. I mean, it is a seaman. And we still have a few seamen open. Um, do they address him? All's oh, fine, John. Been in worse spots, I think. With the rest of his legs. Could be, because they are here. Yeah. They could talk to... Wait a minute, no. John Naples? All's fine, John. Hmm. Yeah, we cannot really say who is he's addressing. I need to check that out again. Uh, cargo, the, the lonely foot. On the other side. I'm ex almost expecting to find the treasure chest here, even if it's empty or, like, hidden somewhere. That's the sound of the tape, right? That we hear there for a second. All's fine, John. And he's talking in like that loud patient voice when when you're like trying to, to calm the, the patients down. Uh, as a doctor, like, no, everything is great. No, you don't need a leg to survive. Relax. Because it makes it easier to work as a doctor, right? As the patient is calm. <laughs> you gotta hear it again, the final sentence. I think you can hear like how he rips off some tape. And also, have we seen his number, maybe? One of the guys with a gun. Maybe that's how we get the name. What num number did John Naples have? Seamen are at the bottom. 50. Not sure I remember that number. Wales. Hmm. Let's hear it one more time. Keep pressure here. Hold it down. Is this this guy talking, maybe? But none of them is John. I need to find my two 
Who are you? Oh, you're the artist. Uh, yeah, he's not talking to them. That must be John. He's still busy handling the chest. Hmm. Um, I think I want to go to the sickness again, where they die. Uh, well, you can see the numbers. What is your job, anyway? Who are we? Why did Evans, like, mm, gives it gives this task to us. Hmm. <laughs> Naples. What number was he again? 50? Hmm. 50. Fifty one, fifty three, no, fifty six, mm, no, fifty, thirty seven, nope. We're not getting it. 36. 39. I mean, it should be around here. 51, 53, 54. Should be on the next side. 58. 57. I get that system. 56, 51, those are the Russians, 47, hmm, yeah, he's just not sleeping here at the moment. Man, I can just go by trial and error. No, there are not that many left. I'm not sure I want to do that, so. What about the steward? Sugisati. Did I get hit something about him wrong? And yeah, there are just four guys left, right? Unknown. Unknown. I mean, we cannot even change anything here. One, two, no, Indian guy, the Indian steward, John Naples, Seaman, Alexander Booth, England, George Shirley, England. Hmm. What about their cause of death again? Drowned by beast, and this one, uh, not an unknown fate, why though? And now I need the memories. The Doom Part 4. Ah, oh, of course, the cannon. The cannon. I mean, we could, like, um, just go with, uh, like, try this out. Alexander Booth 
was shot by a cannon. I mean, I don't know where he ended up, but I think we can somewhat safely say that he got shot by a cannon, right? Shot cannon by beast. Let's stick with that for now. And can just change his name one time, George Shari. Yeah. Maybe if we use both, yes. Nice. Another death confirmed. Ah, okay, the cannon is solved. Wait a minute. Those were only two. Huh? That's weird. <sighs> you're making... You're not making it e easier here. John Naples is still open. Oh, I have a feeling it'll be the last one. <laughs> Okay, but you always need three to get a confirmation, I thought. So why are we getting just two now? Maybe, it, uh, I guess it, ju it just doesn't add up in the end otherwise, so they went with two and two. Um, let's see, where's the storage? Let's see his... Yes. Soldier of the Seapot 7. Why is this corpse? Oh, he's that guy, I see. Is there something wrong? Was there? That's a fresh wound here. Shoot the damn thing. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, crap. Oh, that's friendly fire. That's what ha what's happening. I can see the trajectory. Like, there yeah, little pixels pointing towards him. Who's talking though? Who's that guy who's shooting there? Oh man. Oh, that's kind of hard to tell. Let's see, we can... Gotta be one of those. No one with a gun. Not him. I think. He's like bald, right? Is that the Charles, Charles Minor? Let's see. Let's see his shirt again. Does he even have a shirt? That's the Indian guy. I can see his saber there. Hmm, who gets attacked there? Oh, we can tell who that is. Okay, that's him. Uh, Indian dude. Hmm. That's a gunner. Wasn't you. Okay. That's another. Uh, that's uh, one with the saber. I always get those shots wrong. They were like really sneaky, right? That's one of the officers. It's a dead body. Hmm. 
well, he's not really present at the moment. Oh, that's another one of those sneaky guys. So, I think it is the Frenchman. It's the only bold guy in here, as far as I can tell. Maybe there's someone behind that monster? Yeah, there's a guy up there. On the stairs. Hard to make out, so... Let's just try. Spike by a terrible beast is wrong. Shot by... A gun. By... Shots. Yes? No? No, yes? Hmm. Is that a gun? I think it is a gun, right? Hmm. Yeah, the projectile comes through here. And I saw it was like one of those spikes. But they apparently don't have the power to, to burst through the wall here. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, those guys all have uniforms. Like, literally all of them. Except for him. And he is, we can see him wielding a saber, so I'm somewhat confident that that is right. Um... What's the chapter after this? Is that all? Oh, where's this corpse? Cargo, oh that's in the cargo bay there. Cargo hold, I mean. <coughs> hmm. Let's see if we can... Enter the room again and see where they're st roughly standing. Um. Hmm. Maybe that will tell us something. I gotta go through all the rooms again as well. Oh, it's blocking the stairs, of course. Well, in this scene he doesn't have a gun anymore. But we do hear a gunshot. Where is it coming from? Do you have a gun? Oh yeah, of course. You're shooting. Well, let's look at him. Yeah. So he's at the stairs here now. That doesn't really help us. That's like a whole... Well... All up deck he was about here. And yeah, well, that kind of fits. Kind of fits. Shot with a gun. Is the name right? He should be the steward, right? Oh. Yeah, I mean, let's be honest here. The stewards are. Standing all like in a row, and they all have like a dark shirt. They, they look pretty similar. If there would be more stewards alive, 
uh, left, then I'd maybe say, okay, maybe I got that wrong, but since he's the only one, or is he? Well, Philip Dahl also is a steward. But no, he was like saying things in Swedish. That's gotta be him. He was like cursing in Swedish and everything, so this has to be a, the Indian steward, ship steward. Sumgisati. Which means um since we cannot change anything with the unknown guys, which means there's something wrong with John Naples, of course, he's the last guy I told you. He didn't fall down the stairs. Well now I can basically try and error this one as well. Just with death this time. But let's go back another time to his death which is here in the cargo base as well I think right the foot of course oh man why have do you have to be so difficult Hmm. I mean, it kind of, I can, can kind of understand that, um, that sounds wrong. Fell down to the stairs to his death. That's, no, that's never, that, that wouldn't, definitely doesn't come from a fall. Let's see where the blood comes from, actually. Wait a minute. Wasn't his leg, like, completely on the other side? Of course, there where the crab... No, it was here where the crab thing was, right? Well, let's get, get out again. Maybe he just got, like, claw crabbed. Clawed by a crab. Because what else could have, like, cut off that foot? And we do get to see, uh, they're looking for his leg. So some it could have happened here. And then he kind of, hmm. The thing that confuses me is, uh, that he was on the stairs before, like, still helping with everything, so, you know, here, his foot is here. Oh, yeah, that's what happened. I guess when he was up here, like, this claw thingy got to him? Can gotta, gotta look at the scene before that. Um... Where's his death? All the tank. Gosh, damn. Can we even see it? Hmm. <clears throat> so he is here, here he is still alive and well, but he's like on the complete other side. There's no crap near, but we can <laughs> assume that. Foot is still looking good, man. Let's see, let's go to the beast in the room. That's tied up. Uh, 
And what's so confusing is that it's on the complete other side of the ship. This thing. I don't know. Maybe it wasn't this thing. Maybe it was the one above. Because that's the closest one. Yeah, probably. Way more likely. And the foot kind of fell. Yeah, like he was, for whatever reasons, he moved over here and then... Let's see how this creature actually died. <laughs> was still burning. Is John Naples even here? He isn't, right? Nope. Hmm. Yeah, he's not. But he could have, like, come here. This is so close, even. So that thing was not really dead and it killed him by tearing him apart. No. Um, let's see. That way it sounds more reasonable anyway, like torn apart by beast. Nope, not that easy. Damn! Shit. <laughs> what else? Uh, torn apart by... Oh, we can choose... Wait a minute. Torn apart by names? By the surgeon. In a sense. Yeah, not really. Well, that's not that easy then. A lot of options to choose. Um... Struck suicide so man he's difficult poisoned knifed kill foes fell exploded expired electrocuted eaten alive axe burnt clawed clawed nope Crushed, drowned. Uh, it's always the beast automatically. Uh, what we could do as well is look at the wound itself and how. It is like what the form of, of, of the lag is. Maybe we can tell from how it looks. So that's a crab. The claw, okay. Where is it torn apart? It's like right underneath the knee. Bone sticking out. Bleeding like crazy. His hands are there. His foot is there way in the back. Well, this wound doesn't really tell us too much. It's not a clean cut. I think we can say that, right? It's not like a... S no, hang on. I know what happened. This guy happened. Of course! 
go with the obvious. He got really mad. I didn't expect that. The Swedish guy attacked him for whatever reasons. Was um, killed sword by. Oh no wonder he's uh, putting him. The captain wasn't that mean after all. He's putting him uh, in there with the creatures. Mm. Where are the stewards? Yes, that's it. All currently solvable fates are correct. I'm still not done though. There's still something grayed out the chapter. There's nothing left to do on the Oberdin. Oh, please don't teleport away. Okay, great. There's nothing left to do, or is there? Cool, well, at least we did it. So far. That's going to be interesting. The whole bargain chapter, which probably takes place in here. Okay. Hmm. Man, yeah, this is, uh, I gotta really be like really sorrow and uh, look at the whole treasure thing and the surgeon and his agenda. Hmm. Kind of wanna look through the ship just randomly a bit because. Usually I I was focused on something. Let me just go through it with an open eye, open mind, open mouth. Uh, canvas turned over there. No, oh no, those are just pieces. They're like uh, the damn, forget the word. Uh, the thingies go down. <laughs> Sorry, not an editor speaker. The thingies go down here as well. Uh, ropes, that's the word I was looking for. The ropes go down here as well. Armory. Who's the dead guy here? Oh, that's uh, the guy who got shot, right? Hmm. Yeah. Treasure chest. Let's loot it. It's mine. All mine. There's no port in sight, just the moonlight. And why are we doing this by night time anyway? Didn't, didn't we have a better choice to do this? Like, it's raining. Did it rain before this? Don't even remember. Yeah, it did. Everything to make me feel uncomfortable, right? There it is, glowing, luring me in. Say, come, come out to the open sea. Shiny, shiny treasure. <laughs> Join us in the deep sea. It could be... Hmm, I don't know. Okay. 
Man, I'm pretty happy. We solved everything so far. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> Dangling foot. There are some feet strewn about here and there on the ship. I don't fully understand the situation we're in at the moment. And that gives me pause. We don't know who we are. Don't know where we are. Hmm. Alright. Where do we start then? Following the treasure chest. Probably at chapter one, huh? Lewis Cargo. So, this won't help us. We just have to look around here now. This way we also get to see the ship again. Cargo hold. Yeah, need to go downstairs again. Hmm. The sky right? So, is there any sign of the treasure chest here? I think it should be above us at this point, but we cannot see anything on the other floor. Now, wait a minute. You are guarding something. What are you guarding? Passenger cargo. So it could actually be here at the moment. Uh. Hoxing Lao, the guy who gets accused later. Mm -hmm. And the second one is the guy in the barrel. Shut up, neighbor dog. They're torturing the dogs again. And then the dog saloon. Giving the dogs uh, a new beautiful hairdo, I guess. Um, don't know if, if you heard that. Stowaway. Expecting free passage and, ev and eventual freedom. We don't know nothing about him. I go hard. Oh, he's in that room. Or oh, this is like a bit conspiracy theory. I don't think that this is the case, but maybe it wasn't a co coincidence that he was here after all. Maybe he wasn't looking for free passage. Maybe he was looking for something else. Hmm. Yeah, that's, that's basically the same scene. Not much of a difference, yeah. You cannot tell anything about the guy who died in here. Which barrel is it though? Is this one? Doesn't really show, huh? I mean, this one is mid-air and it is a bit smaller, so I assume it is this one. 
maybe broke his neck or something because that's yeah those are some meters or inches it's a bit of a fall I suppose can we look through this here because there's another deck down there Okay, so I assume the treasure chest is guarded by the Formosan with the spear. Then we get um, the sickness on the all up deck. We might get some info about the passengers there. Can we tell something about our height? By the way, we grab the door. Hmm. Maybe I'm overthinking this. Maybe it it will be just us random gamer dude. Hmm. The mind tends to wander off if it doesn't have enough direction. I guess. Now oh, these are a bit wild assumptions. Okay. Where is the treasure? Oh no, those are just crew guys. Nothing of the nothing to be seen about the passengers. Where are the passengers? Hmm? Oh, I'm on, on on the gun deck here. Well, that no, that's not helping us at all. Gun deck is boring. All up deck and cargo hold is interesting. And every time it, it gets moved, of course. Mm. So this is all up deck. Better code. Right on the stairs. What caused the sickness? What is this sickness? Tragic. Some lung disease. Not consumption. Made worse by the cold. It is cold, I guess, where they are at the moment. Because this is at the beginning of the trip. Will it spread? If so, we'd all have it picked up. Let's go. So check all hands just now, and everyone is healthy. Uh, okay, I don't know. Monkey! He knows everything. He's a spy. In the end, only the monkey survives. He runs away with a shell. Okay, what can we see here? Who are you, anyway? <coughs> One of the Indians. There you are. Passengers. Are they guarding the chest here? Could be. Oh, they're guarding the woman. Or both. I mean, there's the bed. And that curtain. Uh, I think at some point we see where it is. Oh, let's move on. Um... Okay. 
the cow gets slaughtered. Let's go to the cow. Still the same picture. Just sitting and waiting. It is remarkable that they are holding their weapons like the whole time. I'm not sure a spear is a good weapon in such a situation, to be honest. Like, because usually when someone wants, uh, has something ill in mind, he would come up to you like this and go, you don't know that first, so he would already be at arm's length, right, talking to you and kind of deceiving you. And I don't know how you would handle that spear. It is like a good weapon to let them keep distance, but... Um, yeah, I guess like if the sailors come all at once, like would rush them, that would be, that would make sense, but I don't know, I'm not convinced. Yeah, the soul survivor, what, what are you up to with your little monkey? What are you planning? What are you hiding? Okay, next chapter. Murder. What caused this? How did they know? And now we're coming a bit to motives and um, the role of the doc, of the surgeon in this um, main deck up there. That would be you. Musician. Hello. Oh. You gotta know if Nichols hangs out with the dog a lot. The other mutiny guys there. I mean, the doc didn't get on that uh, boat trip, so maybe he didn't know. So that's a shell. So well, that thing that we see outside the window is probably the shell. And that is the lower, uh, like, piece of the chest and it has luck and also we know now that the chest has been um, in here and that they were guarding the woman before that one guy who died here was killed or oh, he's not even dead yet uh, yeah, he's still alive. He gets executed la later. He's just, like, unconscious. See, I told you that spear would, would be no good. It's a... Just with a baton or something. Okay. So, the shell is in the... Cargo... Hold passenger. Um, what's the name? Cargo passenger cargo. Hmm. I, I, it is pretty shiny, I guess. It's not just a normal shell. It is like a glowing shell. So people naturally assume that it is precious and worth something. Alright, so... How did you know about the shell, though? 
Mr. Nichols. I'm sure you don't speak Chinese. Maybe he hang out with that Chinese um, top man or what he was. And he overheard something. Um... Yeah, they have a lot of Chinese top men, by the way. Any one of them could have overheard that. Yeah, and one of them is, of course, one of them is uh, on that ocean trip, so, and he translates everything. Hmm. Okay. What happens next? So that's the murder. And then he gets executed. This is all on the main deck. I don't think we'll see much here, but let's check it out anyway. See how the Formosans react. The treasure is unguarded at this moment, by the way. Right, sir. Evil Ready monkey then. is still here, riding a goat. Where did he go? Come to think of it, where did all the other animals go in the end? Free as a bird. Hmm. What is this? Uh, now let me see. This is where they're trying to, like, flee quietly. And then they're out on the open sea. That's a foot on the gun deck. I wonder though why they would take her or them with them. Because they're just a liability if they just want the shell they can like put it in the boat. There it is by the way. And run away. But no, they want them as prisoners, so what's the plan here? Are they looking for more? This is like a... I don't know. Some sort of instrument that will help find them something or so? I'm not really getting this whole scenario here. I mean, sure. If you take the treasure, they will know. So naturally, yeah, I guess they would set off an alarm. And they don't, like, want to kill them, maybe, like, instantly. He's only killing this guy because he has to. But the gunshot already is pretty loud and wakes everybody up. 
So I'm not really completely understanding this. Hmm. Okay, I think now we have to use the buddies again to get out in the open sea. Yeah, that's the calling. Through another corpse. Hmm. Start here. Um, it's such a pain to go back. We have to use her body like three times now, just to get to the first scene and so on. Okay, Li Hong is the first one to die. Well, that's not on a map, right? Oh, can't see it. Oh, Li Hong. Where is Li Hong on the map? That's not Li Hong. Yeah, he's already dead. Well, it's kind of not easy to tell this way. Oh, that's one. So this is the first guy who dies. Okay, it's tied up again. So the, the lower drawer seems to still be somewhat open, maybe. <clears throat> what are they saying here? We'll reach the canneries, that's the plan. <laughs> so they're satisfied with just that one shell? The canneries, and then what? Say alert, picks up. Oh, you were right. The chest must not fall into the ocean. Mm, what's this coming? Must stay down. Canneries. The calling. They're pretty close by here. They just need a place to go and vanish. Mm. Hmm. Yeah, I guess the plan is to just sell that one shell. Okay, let's go out and enter the body again. I think at one point I saw a mermaid, uh, like, handling one of the shells. Oh, are there even more than one shell? Uh, what's the second death here? This guy. Patrick O'Hagan. That's him. Okay. Yeah, that's what I mean. She has a shell on her back. So what we're seeing there from the overgen could be like a mermaid. 
Oh, at least the shell of a bag? <laughs> oh boy. That's not uh, comforting. So, what you? What are they good for? I mean, apart being like an, like being precious and valuable, do they give them some power? Doesn't look like it. Maybe they're f they're like armor plus six. <laughs> um. Alright, let's see what the treasure is. It is still sealed, that means there's still another shell in there. That me also means there's more than one shell. Another question would be, does every mermaid have a shell on its back? Those guys in, at the end, that's a chapter they end, they mention shells in plural form, so um pretty sure. They have uh, captured multiple of them. With each mermaid, maybe one. And take more than those shells. Um. Hmm. Hmm. I'm not really getting it though. So, but maybe the mermaids apparently have the ability to track those shells, right? Because otherwise, how would they know? I mean, the ocean is big, like really big, bigger than the land mass. So, well, that would be a huge coincidence. So, they didn't like open this thing or activate it in any form yet. So that's not what's attracting the mermaids. I mean, it is, but it is already attracting them. Um, yeah. It's kind of like a magnet for them. I suppose. Get a look at the later uh, scenes if if we can see more of the mermaid bags if if they all have a shell on their back. Okay, so this is so closed. Good. Let's look at this number three then. Uh, no. This guy, Samuel Galligan. Now it is open. And that is also weird. This is now the upper part of the chest that is open. And they, maybe the Formosians, kinda know what they're doing here? Or maybe they don't because his hand is burned off now? <laughs> Why would he open it in a scene like this now? The other drawer down there is... The lo lower drawer is open again and this is not... I think that's a, the shell again. So I didn't get the whole chest thing, the function of it. Are those like burning coats and he's like putting in his hand in there? <laughs> that doesn't really make any sense to me. The, it is magical somehow, I suppose, right? Um. Oh, wait a minute, this is not the death that I wanted. She's already dead here. Which, which kind of scene is this? This is what I need. Break 
Yeah, this one. Um. Okay. So now we don't see the shell, but I think it was this mermaid that had, who threw the first spear, who made the first attack here. That's the one who had a shell. This thing is, this thing is still closed. And he's now trying to fight the guard, basically. Um, and he wants to open it for some reason, and it also helps him, which is even weirder. So that it's it's more than just those those shells are valuable. There's some magic that, like, um, as we'll see in the next scene that like specifically targets if not his foes then at least the, the mermaids okay so apparently they all have like a glowing shell on their back a tiny shell which is odd that one guy is just hiding mr nichols he said enough. Kind of want to know what he says. What Nichols, what Nichols says when he comes back here as well. Um. Okay. Now we actually get to this scene. Part four. That's where she dies. You see a shell? We can assume that there's a mermaid down here. Look at this. What's, what? What is this? Like three spiraling arms coming out of that thing. That's those are not normal coals. And his hand gets burned in the process as well. So everybody like. <laughs> Gets punished. Yeah, you can still see that one shell. This is like uh, an engine of death. Um, who is five now? Burned to death. Um, guess we have to leave. Go by the corpses up there now. Should be him. <laughs> no. She doesn't have a glowing shell, but she's also kind of dead, right? Or at least, like, really hurt. And he drags her on board to show it to the others, I guess. And whatever he did, it made his hand glow as well. That thing is still open. There's clearly some sort of fire burning here. On there. Maybe it drained his life force. He used it as a conduit or something. And again, another shell dropped on the bottom of the boat there. They're not like uh, grown on their back. They're just like items that they carry around with them. Another shell. Two shells. Interesting. Okay, no, Mr. Nichols does. Wait, don't shoot! I have treasure! I yield! Hold your fire! I have treasure. That's what he says. He's not having any of it. <laughs> Suddenly he's got a gun? From the armory, maybe? Did he have one all the time? 
This one still doesn't have a shell. Okay, he tied it up again. Closed everything. Does he have the key? The key sh should be lying around here somewhere, if it is even needs one. Okay, what does he think he has? has Oh, don't shoot, I have treasure. That's all he says. Treasure. How did he know? <laughs> oh, that's hard to tell. But that would be my working theory. Like, since he had, um, like, a Chinese translator, basically. I guess it could have, in theory, uh, like known everything that the Formosans know about the treasure. And, yeah, formed a group to get it. Alright, so, um, I'll make a break here. And gotta eat, boys gotta eat. Uh, continue next time, then we'll uh, finish um, looking at the treasure, looking at the motive of uh, Henry Evans, the surgeon, and his suspicious monkey. Okay, until then. And maybe I'll follow another guy around. I'm not sure if that's all. Hang on, I kinda wanna. Let's do a quick check here. Is there anyone else I, I, I want to know about his motive? Mm, maybe... Yeah, basically everyone who's in on the whole escape thing that will also help us to understand the motive of uh, and Mr. Henry Evans, right? Uh, this might still take some time might also be a little overkill maybe the 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 bargain chapter is like like closed in itself and um i don't need all that info but i kind of i'm also interested i'm just interested in the story i kind of want to know what happened here and that in itself is is uh value enough right okay see you next time guys bye bye